first haul of the year, first haul of the decade, and it's a monster. Hey, I'm Amy and welcome or welcome back. If you watched my video last week, you'll know that I'm kind of chilling out a little bit on some videos. I'm gonna take it a little slow, but of course I had to do a haul for you guys. I'm not gonna stop doing those for as long as I do this channel. And this one is actually a combination of stuff that I got in the month of January and throughout December that I could not take with me to my parents' house. So this is a massive haul and it'll probably be a very relaxed and chill haul because I'm very exhausted. I have been so tired all week. So let's get started. There's a couple DVDs, a couple Blu-rays, some steel books, and a couple big collections. And as always, pretty much everything that I have in this haul, there will be Amazon affiliate links in the description down below if you want to purchase anything. And if you do purchase anything, I will get a small percentage that'll help make this channel even better and I greatly appreciate it when you guys do purchase anything. The first DVD is one that I just got on a whim because I bought a dress for a wedding and I needed like three more dollars to get free shipping and this movie hit the mark. It was like four dollars I think and I'm going to be doing it for 1001 sometime but that is The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. I have a lot of old horror movies and this is not one of them I do not believe. I may do this for 1001 soon. Now that I think about it I need one after my next 1001 episode so this may be the one that I do. We'll see. Cabin of Dr. Caligari, it is just, you know, an iconic film in film history. The next is a box set of the first, well, actually it's all of Christopher Eccleston and David Tennant's seasons of Doctor Who, which David Tennant is probably my favorite doctor. I really do love Jodie Whittaker a lot, and I love Matt Smith. Matt Smith is kind of my doctor because that's when I started watching, even though I watched from the beginning, but when I started watching from the beginning, it was when Matt Smith was the doctor. It's it's weird, but this is, I think, all four seasons, so all of Christopher Eccles' seasons and all three David Tennant seasons, but not the specials. I do have the specials on a, another DVD. I do think that these first four seasons are some of my favorite seasons of Doctor Who and what really got me into the show because I just love some of the storylines and I love the old school effects and practical effects that they use in it because <sighs> I love some practical effects. I love old, almost 90s looking television as well, even though it is like 2000s, I believe. Now we're getting into some of the Blu-rays that I bought. The first one is It Chapter 2. I really love the O card on this. It's not like a glossy, it's matte. It's a matte O card and I really love it. I wish that they did the lenticular cover like they did for It Chapter 1. It is really cool. It switches from Pennywise to the balloon in front of Pennywise. It's really cool. Oh, it's so good. But It Chapter 2 wasn't my favorite. I do like It Chapter 1 better, but I could not pass up not having it and I really, really love Bill Hader's performance in this. Next is a movie that makes me cry every single time. I absolutely love it. I did not do a review of it because this was a movie that I really wanted to have as a movie that was kind of just for myself, and that is The Farewell. I have so many emotions about this movie, and it's it's a really, it, it hits really close to home for me because if you don't know the story of The Farewell, it is about a girl played by Aquafina who goes to China to say goodbye to her grandmother, but they can't tell her grandmother that she's dying. Next is a movie that I absolutely adore and that is Ready or Not. I think I've watched this twice since I bought it, but it is a lot of fun if you have not seen it. I definitely recommend it because it's not a perfect film, but it is very, very fun. And there's, mm, I wouldn't say there's like a twist in it but it is just you know an all-out fun movie and I have another not great not perfect movie it's also a horror movie I have a lot of horror movies in here but it is a very fun movie and that is crawl I was so surprised by how much I enjoyed this movie last year that I had to get it so I could watch the insanity of it again and again and again because it's a lot of fun watching this girl her dad and their dog try to fight off gigantic crocodiles in their crawl space next is another movie that kind of surprised how much surprised me with how much I enjoyed it actually gosh there's a lot of movies in this stack that are on my surprising movies of 2019 list and that is Rocketman 
and this one is actually pretty cool because it comes with this little booklet that is like the whole thing is a note from Elton John and it's really cool I haven't read the note yet I just got this one and the next two today so I haven't really had a chance to look through them but I was surprised with how much I loved Rocket Man I was anticipating it being a little bit like Bohemian Rhapsody and I was not a huge fan of Bohemian Rhapsody I really I liked the musical parts of it but that's really all it had going for it so I'm excited to rewatch Rocket Man because it was so much fun and Taron Egerton does a really great job and it marries the fantastical and musical side of a film very very well with the drama narrative side. Next is another film that I wouldn't say I was surprised by but it was one that I did not like. Like it chapter two that I did not like as much as its predecessor and that is Get Us. Us. I liked Get Out a lot. This is Us not the TV show, but Us with Lupita Nyong'o. I liked this movie. I saw it twice in theaters because when the second time I saw it, there was nothing else to watch and I have a list and I was just like, I'm just gonna go watch Us again. And I like it. It's not like my favorite. It's not Get Out, but it is, I think, a fun thriller. Next is another movie that really, really surprised me. This is the last movie of the movies that I have bought, I believe, and that is Fighting With My Family. This movie was so much fun and it's the movie that introduced me to Florida. Lawrence Pugh. I originally only went to go see this because The Rock is in it. He produced it and I mean Nick Frost is in it and Stephen Merchant wrote and directed it. So that's really what drew me in but what really kept me watching this even though I know nothing about wrestling and I'm not a huge fan of sports movies. Florence Pugh is amazing. I love her in every aspect now. I will sit and watch her Instagram watching her make ice cream forever. Now we're getting into some of the movies that I got from work. The first one is one that my boss talks about all the time and I have yet to see it and that is Never Too Young to Die. We hadn't had this in our like room of Blu-rays for a while and they just like restocked it so I grabbed it. It has Gene Simmons and John Stamos in it and I have heard it's just an insane ride and I cannot wait to finally watch this. Next is another one. It's just a newer movie that came out around the holidays. The only reason I grabbed this really was because the main character is also in one of my favorite movies of 2019. 19, and one of my favorite TV shows of all time. This is Feast of the Seven Fishes. Skylar Gisondo, I think that's how you say his last name. He is in Booksmart. He plays one of the main characters-ish. And he is also young Sean in the last three or four seasons of Psych. If you've ever watched Psych, you know who this is. I haven't seen it, but I've heard it's a pretty decent holiday film. Next is one that I got because there is a hilarious bonus feature that one of my friends filmed and that is Very Bad Things and there is an interview with Daniel Stern on here and some interesting things happen in that so if you like Daniel Stern and Christian Slater and Cameron Diaz and Jeremy Piven and who else is on here? John Favreau is on here. I would recommend checking this out if not just for the bonus feature that's exclusive to this Blu-ray. I have not seen the movie but I will be checking this movie out. Next is one that I only got because it was there and I thought, you know, why not? Eddie Murphy's making a comeback. The Nutty Professor collection. This has both Nutty Professor and Meet the Clumps on it. It is kind of like the Legally Blonde set that I have. This one, I have only seen the first Nutty Professor movie. I have not seen Meet the Clumps. So it was kind of cool to, you know, pick this up and maybe watch it sometime. Maybe just, you know, have a fun time with Eddie Murphy in a bunch of different costumes. The next one I got, only because I think it might be on the 1001 list. I won't be surprised if it isn't. I won't be surprised if it is and that is Brewster's Millions with Richard Pryor and John Candy. I have been kind of on this John Candy kick since we did Planes, Trains, and Automobiles for the podcast back around Thanksgiving. I haven't watched any John Candy movies since then but I've been wanting to and this is probably a good place to start. If it is on the 1001 maybe I'll do it for the next one. Next is a collection box set that I already have the first two volumes of and that is the Universal Horror Collection Volume 3. This one has as Tower of London, Man Made Monster, The Black Cat, and Horror Island. I think I have The Black Cat on Blu-ray already because we released that se separately as its own. I may not have it actually, but I want to get, We I think we're going to release like six of these and I'm hopefully going to get all of them because I love these old universal horror movies and old universal monster movies. It's fun to have movies like this in my collection. Next I have 
two steelbooks and then we're almost done with this gigantic haul. The first steelbook is Slumber Party Massacre. I believe I have a double feature of Slumber Party Massacre 2 and 3, but I wanted to get this first one, especially after watching Dead Meets Kill Counts on the series. And I just love this artwork. I love our steelbooks so much. I cannot recommend getting them enough, especially if you are a horror fan, because we always do some really, really great steelbooks and they're usually by the same artist so they all have a very cohesive look. I am interested in seeing this movie fully because I really have only seen the kill counts but also because this amazing artwork. Just wait till you see the next steelbook I have. That one is even better. My favorite steelbook artwork forever will be the pop star steelbook artwork because that is just literally the best. The next steelbook I have though is Big Trouble in Little China. I think this is on the 1001. If not, I will probably watch it anyways, but I absolutely love the colors on this and we were doing a shoot with it and we were using these different lights and it makes everything change colors and it looks so cool. I can't rave enough about our steel books. This is one I definitely recommend grabbing just for the artwork. I have not seen the movie, but I will now that I have it on Blu-ray. And then we're at the very last thing in this haul and this is one that I am very excited for because I was waiting for it ever since we put on the schedule and that is the fly collection yes this is every single one of the fly movies including the Jeff Goldblum one that is the fly the original one from 1958 Then you get the return of the fly the curse of the fly the fly with Jeff Goldblum and the fly 2 I haven't seen any of them but I am so so excited this may be the October series that I do possibly there was a another box set that we had. I think it was the Rec collection that I was gonna do for Halloween next year, but I think I might do this instead. That's pretty much everything. Let me know what you guys got in the comments down below for the month of January. Now this is a huge haul and anything that you see in here that you like, there was definitely links to pretty much everything. I think everything will be linked in Amazon affiliate links in the description down below. And if you purchase anything from those links, I will get a small percentage that'll help make this channel even better. And I really do appreciate when you guys purchase from my links. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Really, truly do appreciate you, whoever you are. Let me know here in the comments down below and let's be friends. If you enjoyed this, leave a like and subscribe if you're new because I love talking these movies, TV shows, filmmaking, mystery, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye.